Hello, everybody. In today's tutorial, we are going to show you how to create a glitch logo animation that looks like this. It's super easy to do. We just need to prepare a picture of your logo or a profile image and some audio clips and make some really easy edits. We put a download the links of the related picture and audio clips in the description box. Now, let's get the video started. First, let's open up Video Product Blogger. If you haven't installed this amazing free video editor, click on the download the link below the video to download and install it. Click on there to start a new project. Hit this button to import all the picture and audio clips we need to the software. Video Prog Flagger will save them into the picture and music bin accordingly. Then we add the logo picture to video track. Click on here to adjust the size and the position of the logo. Until the logo in the video looks like this. After that, we want to click on here to take a snapshot. That brings us a new picture with the logo on the desired position. Then we drag that picture to the media library. Just like what we did before, we add it to video track. Changing the duration to 10 seconds. Now we want to delete the original logo picture. Next, we add a zoom out effect for the start of the video. Click on here to enter the motion panel. Add a keyframe at the very beginning. On the left window, we decrease the selection range. So it looks like this. After that, we get to here. Add a new keyframe. Restore the selection range to the original state so the entire picture shows up. Then we go to the end of this clip and add a keyframe here. Click on Apply. Then let's find feed under transitions. Add it to the start of the video. Now we finish the edit for the start of our video. What we're going to do next is make the glitch animation effect. Click on the effect menu on the top left. Find the rock effect and drag it to the position where the motion effect ends. We want to set the duration to around half a second. Then let's press Ctrl and C to duplicate the first clip. Press Ctrl and V to add a duplicate clip next to the first clip. And we want to decrease the duration for this a little bit. Then again, we press Ctrl and V to add a duplicate clip to here around the fourth second of our video project. That's how we create a glitch effect. Let's check the outcome. Mm, 
It looks good. We want a line of text to appear at the end of the video. To do this, click on here to create a new text clip. Changing the content to what we want and adjust the position and the size for the text. After that, let's find the animation menu. Choose Oval 2 for the Move In option. And set the duration to 2 seconds. As for the Move Out option, just keep the default settings. Let's have a look at the outcome. Well, that's exactly what we want. Last, we just need to add the audio clips to the corresponding video clips. To take this audio clip as an example, we drag it to here, it's the start of the motion effect. As for the electricity sound clip, we want to drag it to the part with the rock effect. Now we need to add the last audio clip. Simply drag it to the start position of the text. That's it. Take a look at our final creation. Amazing work! I believe you've already mastered how to create a cool glitch logo animation. Don't forget to free download the video track flagger and apply what you've learned to the next creation. If you want to learn more editing skills or get the latest news about Video Prac Flagger, be sure you subscribe to our channel. See you in our next tutorial. Hope you enjoy. Bye.